Alright, what is going on you sexy motherfuckers? Well, today I'm going to show you a couple things that I do when I start out on the fresh server. And one of those things is using these natural traps to kill some alphas. Get some good tools right off the start. So, to start out, I'm going to show you the alpha raptor trap. It's here on the beach next to the volcano biome, where it meets the grass and the hot springs. And this right here is the alpha raptor trap. So you'll lure him in, make him chase you. He's going to go into these holes down there, so what you want to do is stand and land right here. Once you have him on the inside in between both these rocks. Then you want to walk over to this edge, go until you start falling down, land right here. What that's going to do is it's going to put the alpha raptor inside of the trap. His head is going to be sticking out out of this rock right here, so you can get headshots until he dies. It's amazing, isn't it? Hopefully this helps you guys. Alright, so right here is the Alpha Carno Trap. You'll lure him in, and you can exit through the back with your Terra, whatever you're using. I'm assuming you have a Terra at the start. If not, um, good luck. Have one friend suicide in. Anyways, you can jump off your mountain here, shoot him with crossbows, whatever you need. If you want the XP, or you can kill him with your Terra, get your Terra some XP. Um, if you didn't know it, X is your air brake whenever you're on flying mounts. You're going to need to know that. A lot of folks don't, but that helps you with your positioning. As soon as I tame a Terra, I'm in Mastercraft tools, crossbows, sometimes simple pistols, depending on what they drop right off the bat. Uh, it's pretty easy sailing after that. So I had a viewer ask me where I would start and why. Uh, Highlands North, this is where I'm at. Lava Cave is right there to the left. Alpha Traps are down the beach a little bit. We start off with metal spawns here on the beach, as well as crystal through spyglasses. You pretty much got everything you need right here. If you really needed pearls, there's pearls out in the water you can go get easily. And I think the biggest reason is because I hate beach trolls. And this place is so hard to survive in because of all the mantis, all the snakes, and all the centipedes that the noobs just get flushed out. All you pretty much have to deal with over here is PvE at the start because people can't hang. Alright, so I'm going to show you how I get wyvern eggs as soon as I get my first Terra, without even having to worry about losing the Terra. Uh, the dev put a couple of traps inside the Wyvern Scar that you can use to get away, even if your Terra only has 300 or 400 stamina. Also note, if you really need crystal or metal at the start, you can walk along this right edge. There's crystal and metal spawns and no Wyverns are down here generally. That's actually the first time I've seen Mantis in here. I'm sure they'll kill themselves shortly. That's weird. Yeah, I just started the server. Anyways, moving on. Hello, Lag. How are you doing? Uh, things are over spawning like crazy on Ragnarok. My computer's not the best, so. And it seems like Wyverns have not laid an egg yet. Intriguing. Alright, come with me, big boy. Anyways, when you're coming down, Q hog this top left. Whoa. Alright, this lag's a little too real. Anyways, you hug the top left to come in, then you follow the ceiling around. This must be horrible for you guys to watch. Sometimes you can lose them there, but the way you can always lose them is this trap right up here. If it wasn't for this, I wouldn't be able to be getting eggs as soon as I get my first Terra. Anyways, you come around this crystal. Come down and you hug this wall. You hug this wall and hug the wall and the ceiling the entire way down. The wyverns will be stuck back there. If you need stamina, you can stop here. Let them land. Thank you. You stay here for as long as you want, really, if you're too scared. But what I always do is get stamina and get out of render. Go straight over the ocean. Now, sometimes there's wyverns above the ground trying to get to you from the inside, at which point you're going to have to do a loop around and do the trap again. But at least you've got a way out, especially when there's no traps so that you can lure them into or hide behind. Uh, another thing I do is if you actually fly underneath a Bronto or a Diplo with a wyvern on your ass, he's going to leave you alone every time. So if you're really shit out of luck, just fly underneath the Bronto's legs. You'll be fine. From the side, anyways. I may as well tell you this while we're here. Lava caves right down there. That's where I always spawn. There's a bunch of metal right here. Uh, you got a pure metal node down there with two dirties coming around the side. We've got some pure metal along the wall. 
with some dirties. Then we've got a pure metal node right here with a dirty. Then if you keep coming around the side, you've got four pure metal nodes right there. That's a ton of metal. And then if you come up to the top, you got three pure metal nodes right there. That's a lot of metal. And as you're coming down the side, there's metal all, all along the side of that hillside right there. Those are dirties. I normally don't get those. There's one pure and one dirty here. I believe there's two pures and two dirties here. As you come down the hill a little bit more, geez, dude, this lag is unreal. You've got two dirties, one pure and two dirties. You've got a pure here. And that's normally where I stop because these other ones are a pain in the rear end to get to, but you've got some more dirty metal nodes all along this hillside here and along the other side as well. So, if you're hurting for metal, that's where you can get it. Uh, if you need silk, these purple flowers right here, they will give you silk. Yankees don't gather silk, sadly, so you'll have to get off and whip it or get it by hand if you need it. What else can I tell you about this area? If you need water, there's a water vein up ahead of this tree. Oh, I wanted to show you guys how to build a wyvern trap that works really well and costs damn near no resources. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get the materials for that to show you how to do it. Alright, so when you start with your wyvern trap, you want to make sure your pillars are 5 high. And I'll be back as soon as I get that set up. So for the bare minimum wyvern trap, you need five layers of five high stone pillars in the back. And we'll do a length of four, five high. And to keep them inside, I just use stone hatch frames. And I'll be back as soon as that's done. Alright, this is all you need, guys. If you think you need more, if you think you need a behemoth gate for a wyvern trap, you're wrong. And I will show you why here in a second. Wyvern in the trap. Don't fly away from me. Get back here. Hey, you with the face. Dodge the lightning breath. You gotta go under the lightning wyvern. If you can't see spin out of the range. Are you serious? Why are you attacking that? Am I not pretty enough for you to eat? See, I didn't put the pillar sign up on that side, that's alright. Still works. Anyways, get him in the trap, come around to the side, land. You just chill, and you shoot the wyvern like this. You can do it from either side, that's fine. They did add new fleeing mechanics that lets the wyvern choose a random direction to flee in, and they could possibly flee outside the entrance, at which point you just lure him back in the trap. Um, if you got a low level wyvern, they're going to be doing this for long enough that you can knock it out and get the milk and GTFO. You don't need to be committing suicide trying to close the damn door every damn time. This is all you need, guys. I believe it was 65 stone pillars, 7 stone hatch frames to keep them inside. That's a lot cheaper than building a behemoth gate or any of the other fancy crap that folks have been doing. Alright, I'm going to show you a couple more ways whenever you're in an oh shit moment to get some stamina back. down here at this end of the scar, too far away with not enough stamina to go through the trap I showed you already. What you do is you run like a little biatch. Down this tunnel, yes, the wyvern will follow you. He will follow you for a very long way. So hopefully you've got enough stamina to make a couple corners. Don't try to hide over there on the right. They will light you up. Where they get stuck is right around this corner. As long as you hug that left wall and then you get around another corner, you can get stamina right here. They will be flying into the wall trying to get to you, and you can get your stamina back. Uh, there's a couple other ways that I have used personally when I was in a no-shit moment. Let me see if I can get a wyvern on me. Get over here, boy. Alright. No-shit moment, I'm on fire, I'm gonna die, I just got a nice egg, why me? And it's not the right spot, go me. <laughs> Alright, let me go to the right spot. 
mostly down here at this end that I've used it. Anyways, what you're going to end up doing is coming from down here, you're going to go over these little wyvern star pillars, and then you're going to dip down as fast as you can so the wyvern's flying straight into the wall, and you're going to get stamina while he's sitting there trying to blow fire at you. He actually got to a spot that I'm not very comfortable with, but anyways, it still worked. Hope that helps, guys. So I'm over on the west side of the map. I'm going to show you guys a couple metal locations over here. Directly beneath me is a gigantic spire. <laughs> well, inverted spire, I don't know. It's a big hole. How about that? It's a big hole that's covered with metal all along the walls. It goes down for quite a ways here. If you need metal, you can do that. There's also a metal cave over here. Uh, if you're just starting out, I don't, it's not really that great. It doesn't have very many pure metal nodes. But there's a couple cool things you can do with it. One being that you can spawn a raft out here, and you can bring the raft up through this canal and break, a, break out some of the rocks. Normally this is covered with rocks that you have to destroy to get in. I don't know why they're not there. Normally this is filled with metal. What happened to it? Maybe this is getting worked on right now? Anyways, I think this is just a single player bug. But there's a lot of metal that spawns all in here, and you can park your raft right here. You can't build on the raft once you bring it in. So you build on it, get it built, bring it in, you'll be good to go. You can even put turrets on it. There's the metal. What in the world? There's obsidian. And there are the rocks. These rocks will respawn too. The only one you really need to break once you get in here is this one to get your flyers in and out. Alright, so over on this side of the islands, you've got pure metal nodes that spawn all throughout these. I'm just going to call everything a fucking spire. How about that, guys? Inside these spines, spires, whatever you want to call them, there's pure metal nodes, and going all the way back over towards the water, you'll have more metal nodes over here as well. That you can come in and hit. Alright, if you're living over by Viking Bay, if you need metal or obsidian, or you want to come to these pillars, they've got metal peppered throughout them, and I'm not sure if this cave is still hidden or not. It is still hidden. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it is still hidden. So you can actually walk right through this to get some more metal nodes. Why isn't anything spawned? Sulfur if you need it. Crystal. I'm sure they'll be fixing that soon. You can have a pretty hidden base. A lot of folks don't know you can walk through a lot of the stuff on this map. For cementing phase, we're out here in the Redwoods. You'll see beavers all over the place. Just started the server, so you're not actually seeing the dams. But, if you're wondering where we are, this entire area where the stream's coming down will have dams littered throughout it. People don't really know the dams are out here. They always go to Beaver Paradise. So I, I just stopped going to Beaver Paradise, come out here, uh, doing a metal run or getting wood, whatever I need to do. And there's an obelisk right over there, so you can upload everything when you're coming out here for wood, berries, whatever it may be. I don't recommend coming out to the Redwoods for metal, because there are a lot better places to go than out here. Back on the topic of cementing paste, there are four lakes over here by Beaver Paradise that you should be going to. This one, some people know about it, some people go to it. You might get lucky and find seven or eight beaver dams there that people haven't looted recently. The one I always go to that people rarely ever go to is right down here. There are also two caves in these little waterfalls here. You can go behind the waterfall up top and go into a different cave, or the waterfall down below and go into a different cave, but there are beaver dams here all the time. The other two I'm sure you know about are the big lakes that have the giant beaver dam spawns. And while I'm in the area, if you live in this area, there's a couple pure metal node spawns right here on this hill, where these rocks are and all three of the griffins. And up on top of this mountain, if you want to call it that, I'm going to call it a hill. I think 
There's nine metal spawns. I don't believe there's a single pure one though. That's a good little spot to build a starter base if you wanted to. Anyways, the two beaver dam or two ponds that have the big beaver dams are these two. I'm sure you know about them. The best beaver dams to loot in these are the tiny giant beaver dams that are right here. You see this line? There's actually three giant beaver dams right there. And they are the easiest to get to. There's three of those big ones that you see out there right here in a little line. A lot of people think this is just for show. Well, it's not. I'm not actually going to these. I'm just going to show you those three. Yeah, that's the way to go, man. Anyways, I'm going to take you to some of the best pure metal node locations on the map, and I'll try to go around the map and show you where metal is near you, if I can. I'm sure you already know about this, but I'm going to go over it real quick. All these spires out in the canyon, and even along the canyon walls, and even behind some of the waterfalls, in particular that one, way out there in the middle of the screen, there's metal. There's three pure metal nodes right here. I uh, don't come out here often because there are better spaces to go or metal, which I'll be showing you here pretty soon. But if you live in the area and you need a water dino pen or something like that, there's also a decent amount of pearls in the water. They're a little spread out from my liking, but if you are in the area and do need some pearls, you can always come out here in the water and get some. But the halfway already made water pen is right here. Just put some gates up, park your dinos on the inside, you're good to go. It's two ways. Just a little go through here. Uh, barely any pearls in here, but the pearls are all scattered throughout the water around the spires out here in the canyon. While I'm here in the canyon, I'll talk about the little bit of crystal that spawns here in this spire where the artifact is. Um, I don't believe it's worth coming here to get this at all, because there are better spots to get crystal. I, don't, I also don't believe it's worth getting the crystal spawns that are up at the lava pools at the volcano. Even when it's going off and there's more crystal than you can than you know what to do with. The reason being is these nodes only give you like 20 crystal per hit when you're hitting them with a 6 to 700 percent damage anking. Uh, that's why it's a complete waste of time. There are other nodes in the map which I will show you that give you anywhere from 80 to 180 crystal per node. And that's where you should be going. The hillside right above the metal cave is peppered with dirty metal nodes. I normally don't waste my time with them, but if you're in the area, you need metal bad. I'm going to take you to the good metal locations now. Alright, oil. On land, you're going to have to come to this snow biome with the ice cave in it. At least until you can get up and run it in the water or get an oil derrick up. Oil spawns all throughout the inside here. Uh, there's a little bit of crystal. I believe these nodes actually do give you 80 to 180 crystal per hit. This entire hallway, this came from the canyon and the level streaming's messed up, so entire hallway is littered with crystal. I normally don't come here for crystal because it's too overpopulated and a lot of people know about it. Where I do go for crystal, Lance, thank you, is behind this and there is a level streaming issue going on so the crystal is probably going to disappear. But there's crystal right here in this little pathway. There's crystal in front of me, you just can't see it right now. Issue with the level streaming. Okay. There's crystal all along this wall to my left. I can't move because I'm running into it. There we go. Alright, more crystal. Should have brought the tear in here. I'm actually going to go in through the air entrance, which is where I normally come in. But if you're really hurting for crystal, you can fit an Anki through that ice wall I just broke down with a pick. don't know where the air entrance is. <laughs> Get on the Terra! Oh, I'm lagging. I'm not. Alright. What the hell? I hate you too, Terra. I hate you too. This game, man. You have good days, you got some pretty good days that you got just these retarded days where nothing wants to work. Hmm, 
pictures. There's the ice lake. Come over this edge. If you watched my other video, you know there's a chest under that overhang over there. You should check that whenever you come out here, of course. They did nerf those chests. I haven't gotten a cinnamon blueprint out of them in maybe the last 20 times I looted the chest. But this is crystal right here. So, when I come in to get the crystal, I always come down here. They did increase the loot quality from these drops, though. These to give stone picks nonstop, don't follow me. Um, level 40, whatever. Crystal here, crystal here. People always forget the crystal in the water. Take your Anki in the water, man. A little bit of crystal over there. Hello, lag. Decent amount of crystal over there. Get about 2,000 crystal on one of these crystal runs. There's also crystal hidden all throughout. Not really hidden, just peppered throughout this entire cave. Now these nodes are the nodes that give you upwards of 80 crystal per swing. I've gotten over 160 per node. Of course I'm not on official servers, so that's probably why. Crystal right there. There's crystal coming up on the left and the right. When you come down here to get this crystal, these dire bears are level 500-ish. So be mindful not to get your Anki killed. But, crystal right here. This is the only place you should be going for crystal. There's a bunch of crystal veins out in the ocean. They need to up the amount of crystal that you get from all of those nodes. Especially with how much work it takes to get to those. But anyways, more crystal here. And to get to that pathway with all the crystal from the waterfall that I had to axe through to get in. You come up over here. You can fit a wyvern through here in and out easy. If you're carrying an Anki on a wyvern and get all this crystal. See, I was saying you couldn't see that stuff earlier because of the level streaming issue. Alright, so you're coming down the stream from Beaver Paradise. I'm sure you guys already know about the caves that are underneath these waterfalls. But this over here, this is Metal Pass. This is where I go to get a ton of metal all in one spot. This is my favorite location to go get metal, besides the Highlands. So you got a couple dirty nodes here before you get inside, don't worry about those. I'm going to go under the ground so you can actually see. Look at all these pure metal nodes, dude. Uh, there's actually pure metal nodes back there in those rocks. You have to bust the rocks to get them open, get to them. There are pure metal nodes all throughout this pass. It's all in one little spot. And if you still needed more, you got the canyons you can go out to, get those nodes. couple metal spawns up here on this hill. So this is just right above the metal pass. Look at all these pure metal nodes here. All in one spot. I like it. Hit the pass, come up here, hit this. Got a ton of metal. More pure down there. Alright, I was supposed to show you guys the pearl spawns on the west side of the map. But at the end of the swamp, the new swamp, there used to be a lighthouse there. I know they removed it. They might put it back. Anyways, it looks like 40-20. No, 40-15. The tip of that southwest green peak. All around that, right next to the surface, are a bunch of pearl spawns. So you can park an angler fish out there. Do what you need to do to get all your pearls there without having to go too deep in the water to get all the pearls you need. And I'm going to pull up to Pelagornis Bay, which is where you should be going to get your pearls, on the north side of the map. Central North, I guess I should say. Up ahead, there's pearls right next to the surface, and there are a few stash spots where all you have to do is just put a behemoth gate up for a water pen, and you'd be fine. One being, I guess I can show you real quick. No, I'm just going to show you the pearls. People aren't here for that shit. These pools have a ton of pearls in them, as you can see. Easy pearls, easy living. There's also metal out here, hitting two birds with one stone. There's a ton, a ton of metal out here, all along these spires. Oh, and I went too far out for pearls. Come back. 
kan Seems like they're actually not spawning on single player. There's only a little bit of pearls out there. Anyways, I'll show you a little bit of the metal. Check all the spires. Oh, this has got to be horrible for you guys to watch. I'm so sorry. I don't understand what's going on. I'm going to start recording on the servers I actually play on. So I don't have to worry about this lag. Probably lagging for loading all the metal. Someone needs to mine this. Hurry up, guys. And I will show you the little dinosaur stuff slash stash spot. I'll just have to stop using it from now on. Alright, just for those who wanted to know, this is where you can stash your anglers or anything else you want to stash over here. Did they fill in the hole with metal? Those sons of bitches. They sure did. Anyways, you'll have to get rid of the metal node. But I always put a stash back here of some sort. If you like it, I like it. I'll have to stop using it, of course, but <laughs> don't fuck each other, guys. You're watching my videos. Don't fuck each other. You know, you wouldn't have known about this if it wasn't for me showing you the videos, so have some, uh, some honor and integrity. If you're near Viking Bay and you like going down this tunnel uh, to get pearls, go for it. I always use Pelagornis Bay or one of the other two spots that I know of that I will get to later. But, in Viking Bay, I already showed you where the chest spawns, I already showed you the, the crates. I did show you a stash spot in Pelagornis. I'm going to show you, uh, I guess, a little spot to get pearls and to stash stuff in. See these holes here? There's something to them, man. You should check them out. Oil. If you need oil, you don't need to have anything set up in the water to come down here and do this. The floor's not done yet, obviously. But you can't fall through, so don't worry about it. There are pearls down here. There's a little network of smaller caves <laughs> that you can go through. Get some pearls. Stash some stuff. This is a great little hideout area. Hopefully you guys find something cool with it. Or use it for something cool. How about that? Alright, this spot right here, just outside of Viking Bay on the shelf, spawns a deep sea loot crate. Got the coordinates on the screen. It's not here, obviously, just like none of the beaver dams are here. <laughs> For organic poly, you've got all the penguins up here by the ice cave. I use the mantis and the volcano biome for my organic poly. Because there's just so many of them, and it's so easy to get, especially if you've got a good chainsaw or a fairy. Everything I've shown you on land, metal, oil, crystal wise, there's so much more in the water. If you guys want me to go around and show you the hot spots for that as well, I can. Just let me know in the comment section. I'm actually out of time today, so hopefully this will help you guys get all your stuff going. Well, alright, I wish you guys the best of luck, and I hope you have fun. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. I'd love to hear it. I love listening to you, bitch. It's pretty funny, actually. I know the voice hasn't been the best I'm trying to figure out why and as soon as I figure it out I will fix it you guys can use that trick from the lava cave if you want to get you outside pretty quick